eyes of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, three losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Jake, the Celtic Kid, Matthews. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of. 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Imago Mena! All right, give me the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for The fighters touch gloves. as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Great punch. Real quick leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, nice big knee kick. there. Of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now, what does he do with the top of the drill? Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop you. Got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Matthews has got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Not tapping out 
tonight. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready? Round two here. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Not a good Control, a lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pop or he can chase the mission. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. My triangle, my triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest. It's in there deep. There you go. Sleep with the arm trying. The moment he dropped his chest, it dropped all of his weight on his opponent's neck and put him to sleep. Jiu-Jitsu practitioners around the world celebrating the effort of that young man tonight. He's done, he's done. Yeah, that's high-level jiu-jitsu there, and I know going into this fight, he felt like he was gonna have to be near perfect with his grappling and his transitions to force a tap, and he did one better here tonight. He forced the nap, so great technique to get the finish and ultimately he is your winner by way of submission. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 22 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by submission, due to an arm triangle choke, Habib the Eagle Nevada. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission and they put Thank so you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.